Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller welcoming you to Six in the City. We have the prospect for getting some rain this week. We hope that'll happen. Yeah, but we won't talk about that much because I don't want to jinx it. Now, I did. Oh, that's, right. Good. That's, that's right. I might jinx it. I did wash my car Sunday in hopes okay, that it you know, never right. fails that uh, when you wash your car, it's going to rain. So One thing we do know, the weather has been hot and utility bills are high and they're hitting now. Yes. And so if you need help, jacksenergy.com and go to Utilicare or whatever. We'll work through this together. We got a full right. show. We do have a full show. We're going to be talking with some folks with the city of Jackson, Bridget Parham and Jamal Brady, because they're having a back to school bash. Yes. It's coming up July 30th. So it's right yeah, around right. the corner. Denise Walton is here with Rifa. She's their new donor and community relations manager because it's time for pack the bus. It's coming up August the 20th. We're almost into August. Margaret Taylor is here with a step ahead West Tennessee because they've got an event coming up called a vintage ball. September the 8th, and she's going to be telling us a little bit about that. Caitlin Roach is here. She's with Friends of Heart. They've got the Black Tie Blue Jeans event that's coming up August the 6th at the Carl Perkins Civic Center. We're going to hear more about that. Katie McGill is with us because she's the executive director of the Student Award Center, and I think they're going to be giving away a pretty good amount of scholarships, so she's going to tell us about that. Lizzie Emmons is here. She's with the Jackson Arts Council. We're going to find out what's going on with the Jackson Arts Council. And then our entertainment today is none other than Cooper the Band. That's right. So it's all lined up, ready to go. Stay where you are. We're right back with this. Six in Six the city. In the city. Hi, I'm here to ask the people of Jackson to be a part of a groundbreaking program, Four Minute City. Every minute you don't get help after a sudden cardiac arrest, your chance of survival decreases by 10%. That's why Friends of Heart and the Jackson Fire Department have created a care team. A group of everyday citizens trained, equipped, and ready to save lives in our community. Please call this number or visit our website. Together, we can save lives. Experience something new with View It Video On Demand. Now you can preview and rent movies with your remote. Press the TiVo button to go to the home screen. Select View It On Demand to get started. Browse new movie releases and events. Select what you want to watch, then rent. There's even free stuff. You'll find karaoke songs, fun screensaver for your TV, videos for the kids, and more. Experience more with TiVo and View It Video On Demand. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 Got some good hey, welcome back to Six in the City. Bridget Parham was with us and Jamal Brady. We got a back to school bash that is coming up this Saturday, the 30th of July, as we wrap up the month. And so, Bridget, Jamal, where is this going to be? This will take place out at North Park. Okay. And uh, it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Okay. The City of Jackson Recreation and Parks Department will be co hosting this along with. Better Balance Foundation. So what are we gonna what are we gonna find when we get out there, Bridget? Oh, you're gonna find yourself having a wonderful time. We're inviting everyone from zero to 100 plus. <laughs> We're gonna have water fun with the Jackson Fire Department. We're gonna have, of course, free school supplies. We'll be giving away book bags okay. already stuffed with school supplies in them. And we want to thank a lot of people in our community because a lot of individuals and a lot of organizations donated these supplies to us. And also, we're going to have entertainment and uh, so uh, water fun. We are hoping that the police department and the fire department will do a tug of war and a water balloon, a water balloon uh, dodgeball game. Oh, uh, okay. take place too. Okay. Now, Jamal, how is Better Balance Foundation involved with this? Um, uh, my foundation is partnered with Parks and Recreation. Again, the sports and fitness is what I do. But 
um, just involved, just uh, involved with the whole family structure. So we came together this year to kind of kick off our partnership with this uh, back to school bash. Again, family fun and entertainment. So right, we're looking for entire families to be there, right? This is for any student from what pre-K all the way through high school. Yes, sir. Um, like she said, got got good entertainment. Uh, big shout out to Hunt Pickens from Chester County. He's coming out. The headline is great talent. So there's going to be some good entertainment out there. All right. And you said what time is it going to be at Bridget? Uh, this is going to be taking place from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. We'll be doing the entertainment around about 11, 11 30, but you can just come and stay and just have fun. Have you know, fun. We're and working this is at North Park, right? North Park, North Park, Bridget. North Park, that's yeah. right. Now, Bridget, North you know Park. we like to eat. So, is there going to be snacks out there? We're going to have a few little snacks. So, okay. we'll have some snacks out there. So, you know, it can't be, you can't go anywhere without some food. I know. So, you know, I know. We'll have the hot dogs, chips, water, Gatorade. We're going to keep you hydrated. Okay. okay. Well, maybe it'll be cooler by Saturday. We certainly hope so. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Bridget, one other, I know you're involved in many things. One of those is the Bicentennial Parade and helping organize that coming up August the uh, 13th. But then also you're involved with an event this week that is coming up Thursday evening, and that is the 28th. That's going to be at 530 at Westwood Gardens. It'll be 530 till 7. It's a teen and parent workshop on what, Bridget? Parent traffic. Okay. And of course, we have the best MCs for this event. Yours truly, Steve Beverly and Cassandra Fuller. But we're going to also have keynote speakers will be Lieutenant Danielle Jones with the Jackson Police Department, Special Agent Amber Lawrence with TBI, Lindsey Carr with TSPN, and Julianne Stone with Spotted Road Project. You know, we're tying in the adults, but with this being a youth event also too because we have to teach our youth about this so that they can be aware we're going to be having entertainment by savannah henson she's a student of kimberly halton we're going to have uh laron bouye he's the 9 to 12 year old jackson idol winner and okay. also we're going to have uh consent uh the victoria clark dance group to perform during that event that's okay. what's Thursday the 20th at 5 30. That's Westwood Thursday at five thirty. Now, um, Bridget, who would you who do you want to attend this event that's coming up Thursday? Anybody and everybody? Anybody, everybody. Okay. You're never it, too young. This is bring the family, bring friends, bring your coworkers. We're just encouraging the community to come out because this is a problem that we have everywhere. So, okay. you know, we are trying to just enlighten everyone about this problem. That is there a website that people can go to to get the information for that event if they're listening? Yes, they can also go to look at our calendar to see at the city council. Uh, yes, to see city the, exact website. the health department did the red sand project today where they poured the red sand in the, in the cracks in the concrete just to highlight people dropping through the cracks and human traffic and a real concern. Yes. Glad to see the yes, addition. Well, the back to yes, school bash is coming up we'll Saturday. And, about that also. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Back to school bash is Saturday, and then the uh, human trafficking Thursday evening. So everybody's busy. Jamal, thank you for being with us. Yes, thanks, Jamal. Thank you. Thank you. See you. We appreciate working with you. We're going to be right back with more as we continue. Six in the Six city. In the city. With E Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage. Text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248, 53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. Here at the Emergency Operations Center, we rely on E-Plus Broadband Fiber Network to better serve Madison County. With high-speed internet, we track storms and natural disasters in real time. Also, 
Fiber Internet gives us the speed to host training classes preparing responders from all over the county and state. The phone system allows us flexibility to stay in contact and make conference calls with both in and out of the office with local, state, and federal agencies. Connectivity is an important part of emergency management. Welcome back to Six in the City. Fuller was talking about her vacation. She's the only person I know that vacations in South Dakota. <laughs> well, I have reason to. I well, mean, it's a good, okay, it's now, a good reason. Now, hold, you know, now wait the, a minute. Well, the when bad, people say, where are you going on vacation? They expect to say, you know, the Bahamas. or. I know, yeah, but right. the Badlands are in South Dakota, <laughs> which are awesome. If you ever get a chance to see them. <laughs> Mount Rushmore is out there. The Black Hills. There's plenty of stuff. Plenty of things to see in South Dakota. Yes. Okay. That's yes. not why, why, why Denise is here. Denise Walter, uh, Walton is with us. With, with RIFA. It's time to pack the bus and you've got a special guest with you today. I do. I have with me Esther Kuhnert. Uh, oh, wow. She is new to RIFA as well, but she's a, a month here uh, longer than I have been. She came on board in April and her title is Development Coordinator. So I do mostly event planning and some grant writing and volunteer coordinating. Okay. Well, right. It's good to have you with us as well. Thank we you. got packed up. We got several things coming up. Can construction coming up in September. A lot of things going on, but we're going to pack the bus August 20th. So where are we going to be? Yes. So we're going to be at all three Jackson Kroger locations. So Stonebrook University and Linwood. And then we're also going to be at both Walmarts North and South. And it's going to be from nine to three 30 that day. Okay. 9 a.m. Right. to three 30. All right. And what do people need to do to pack the bus Esther? Yes. So we're going to have real school buses outside each grocery store and we're going to give out a little shopping list to every customer and they can pick up some items for our snack backpack program. We'll take them and actually fill up the bus with those donations. Okay. All right. So this is coming. It'll be Saturday. So all three Kroger's and then both, both Walmart's North and South. Yes, yes. that's right. Those are pretty good locations. And, yeah. <laughs> and most of us will be out shopping on a Saturday, getting ready to fill our carts with things that we need. We just have to make sure we remember those who don't have as much as some of us do. And those things go directly into the snack backpack program, which if I did not realize the number was as great as it is, but over 1300 bags go out every week during the school weeks wow. with our students here in Jackson. And so we definitely know that those kids would be hungry. These are uh, kid friendly, nutritious things that uh, a kiddo can open and have himself or herself over the weekend to make sure that they're fed on Saturday and Sunday. The new Sugal coordinates that. Well, we we have volunteers. We have volunteers okay, here wow. come in the warehouse, and it is quite the production. On my <laughs> second day at Rifa, I could not believe it's like a, a, a well-oiled machine back there with Mr. Dan Ward. We have a lot of folks that come in and put all those things together in the bags. And a Bible verse, a scripture encouragement goes in there as well. And then they are sealed up and ready to go every week to deliver wow. to the schools here in Jackson. It's It's an awesome thing to see. Okay. Now, Denise, if, if we're not going to be around that weekend, but we still want to help pack the bus, can we do that? Absolutely. Yes, actually, some of the grocery stores will have boxes outside early. So if you'll be out of town, you can just drop your donations into okay. that box. Okay. okay, that's easy enough. And there will be a list that you can pick up then. Yeah, is there a list online too? Can we go online and get a, a list as well? Rifa's website actually has a snack backpack page and it has all the items listed. Okay. And I have some friends who are like, I would love to help out, but I'm probably not going to go to the grocery store and do all that. Can I just write a check? And my answer to that is a resounding, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> for you. I just know a lot of us are busy. My kids are grown. That's not something I'm necessarily going to shop for. I will absolutely write a check. <laughs> a lot of us. You designated, Denise, you designated for the snack backpack program. Is that what you do? You absolutely could. Mm -hmm. That will be completely okay. fine. Or just drop off a check and, and it'll all be used for hungry people. Yeah, good call. Yeah, right. Okay. Now, how is the uh, bus stop cafe going? I know it's it's uh, been making its rounds. It has. It's been great. It has been wonderful. You know, it's so hot. And so the kids get on yeah. the bus. We got the fans going. Hop off. Okay, good. On Thursdays and Fridays, they take a snack backpack with them in the summer as well. So, okay. oh, okay. So this this pretty much goes throughout the whole year for snack backpack. It does. Yes, it right. does. It does. Well, it's an amazing initiative. Don't forget, Can Structure is coming up September the 29th. They're looking for teams right now. You go to rifajackson.org, right? Get and looking for sponsors too. So we need some table oh, yeah, sponsors. sponsors we well. need title sponsors. Well, you don't need a title sponsor, but we do need table sponsors and, and other level sponsors. So, yes. Well, it's good to see you both. 
It is good, good to have you, lady. Thank you so much. Glad to have you on board here. And, and right. Denise, always good to see you. We appreciate it very much. Yeah. We're going to take a break and go to the main stage. And we right. welcome to this show once again, Cooper, Cooper the band. band. Yeah. still be intertwined. System Operational Achievement Recognition, the SOAR Award, is the American Public Gas Association's recognition for excellence in a natural gas utility. The award covers employee safety, system improvement, system integrity, workforce development. There are over 700 APGA members. In 2022, 14 of those systems received a SOAR Award. But the top level gold SOAR award, only one system, the Natural Gas Division of the Jackson Energy Authority. Being an industry leader is all a part of JEA Today. I don't remember how it started. Go to Our back and forth. It always came back. You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. The Pro Football Hall of Fame, Super Bowl champion, two-time NFL MVP, four-time Pro Bowler, Kurt Warner will be the speaker for the 58th Benefit Dinner at Freed Hardeman University. Join us Friday, December 2nd, and hear from the American underdog. Enjoy a night of great food and entertainment and help raise money for student scholarships with Kurt Warner, one of the greatest stories in sports history. Visit fhu.edu for details.
Welcome back to Six in the City. Margaret Taylor has joined us. We got a festive event coming up we want to talk about and also a serious issue we want to discuss as well because she's head of the Step Ahead Foundation here in West Tennessee. Margaret, it's always good to see you. It is great good to see you. Glad to see you doing you. so well and it's, you've been through some battles you. in your life and you're looking fantastic. Well, thank you. I appreciate no, that. No. You guys not looking too bad either. <laughs> <laughs> Soft focus lens. You know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I need one of those. Okay. <laughs> got that going on. Well, we got, first of all, I got a fundraising event that's always a classic and fun thing. It's for ladies only. It's called the Vintage Ball. This yes. year set for September the 8th, starting at 6, going until 9. It's going to be at the New Southern, which is an elegant place before you even it dress is. it up. And when you dress it, it up, is. it's just absolutely splendid. And it's all to benefit. And vintage, you have found, is defined by some 1920s, some 1990s. 2010 can be vintage for some. <laughs> we haven't had that yet, but we have had 90s, definitely. 1990s. Yes, I mean, and we've had the 80s with the big puff sleeves and the makeup and the, the point that fried hair, you know, we, we've right. had that. So, you know, it can be anything any woman wants it to be. Uh, they can live out their childhood if they want to. It's up to, to them. But, you know, we, we expect people to come in flappers. We've, we've had flappers with their okay. dresses on and their long cigarettes, you know, okay. and all that. So it's just a fun event where women come and they just supporting other women is what they're doing. And it's just really a fun night. We have Gloria White and Just Friends who will be our entertainment. And they're wonderful. They're just wonderful. And and uh, last year, I have never seen so many women, even Miss Katie Brantley. Everybody knows Miss Katie. Right. She was there and she was on the dance floor. <laughs> and I mean, you know, everybody was dancing from 21 to 86. So okay. it's just a lot of fun. And then we have the pageant where we have a, a Miss West Tennessee, Miss Vintage West Tennessee. Okay. And last year, Natalia Kathy won that. And so she'll be there this year to crown our new winner hopefully and uh that's a lot of fun because you go up there and you've got all these different outfits and we have a wonderful MC, christiana gallagher who works with us and she is just silly herself and so she makes the whole thing just so funny and eventful for the women that are participating okay. so well, margaret how much are tickets for the event tickets are 40 we considered going up because everything's going up but we thought no nah, we're just gonna you know give people a break we're gonna leave them at 40 this year uh we are still looking for sponsors and sponsor levels start at 500 and up so anybody that wants to sponsor we'd love to, to for them to call us that number is seven Three one six nine five nine nine six six, and uh, and and Eventbrite is where we're going to be selling our tickets. So uh, okay. go there, get as many as you want. Uh, I've got people telling me that they're trying to get a whole table together because they were there last year with just a couple of friends, and they want to bring more friends this year. And we're loving it. We want to pack the house. So, so we can just go to Eventbrite.com and then search for Vintage Ball, right? Yes, and okay. it should pop right up, and right. Uh, you get your tickets there. And you know everything is 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 uh, internet now, so all you gotta do is show us your virtual ticket, and you're good to go once yeah. you get to the door. Yeah. It's hors d'oeuvres, is that right? Hors d'oeuvres kind of start the evening. And yes, great hors d'oeuvres and wine, and yeah. we have a solid auction. It's uh, busy. Yeah, it's busy. It yeah. we do a lot in three yeah. hours. Three hours. I'll be honest. So and be then night. we also have we have Judge uh, York. He comes with his uh, 1975 Cadillac. Okay. And it is a classic. Those doors are heavy. I've never, I mean, they are <laughs> heavy, but all the women got to get a picture with that Cadillac. Okay. So, uh, you know, he's so nice to, to, to offer that to us and everything. He's going to do that again this year. So it's just, like I said, it's nothing but fun. There's nothing heavy that goes on. It's all about laugh, laughter and enjoying each other, picking at each other because of their outfit, you know, and that sort of thing. So it's just a lot of fun. But this year, you know, as I was telling you, things are a little different with the step ahead. You know, uh, we are seeing women now that are calling. Our, our, our numbers have just increased tremendously for women that are calling to get methods um, more so than ever. And it's they're telling us it's because they're afraid. They're afraid that they won't be able to get a method. Right. this time next year so they're right. wanting to get their methods now even though they weren't planning on doing that until you know the recent things that have happened in our okay. world 
Well, court yeah. decisions and changes in state legislatures and, and yeah. contraceptives and that has become a target here. It so, has. And in I certain understand states. people's different religious views don't want to disrespect anyone, but oh yeah, I mean it, you know it's, that's. But it's, uh, it's for, for women that 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 use contraceptive methods. This becomes a real important discussion. So how do they yes. contact you? They contact us at seven three one six nine five nine nine six six, and uh, that phone will be answered basically eight to five and uh, Monday through Friday. Okay. But um, you know, we're we're glad to talk to anybody and e explain how the methods work. If they're not sure if they really want a method or if they're running scared, or if they really if they need it, we're we're glad to provide it. Yeah. So we just need to know. And your and website we is asafwesttn.org, right? You are so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I was walking on you, Fuller. What is that site? ASAFWestTN.org. Okay, very good. All right. Mark, it's good to see you. Yes, thank thanks for you guys. Doing important work, yes. We appreciate you. Glad thank you work. so much. It's good to see you. Bye-bye. We're going to go back to the main stage. Bye. We welcome back once again, Cooper the Cooper Band. Cooper the Band. visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question mother mother am i a tree you tell me to stand tall you tell me to stay rooted i think i am a tree my child my child of course you are but what kind of tree will you be the kind to hug or the kind to climb doesn't matter what you choose so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind make the forest part of your story at a park near you find one at discovertheforest.org 
Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E-Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Welcome back to Six in the City. Caitlin Rhodes has joined us, and she's with Friends of Heart. And we've got an event coming we want to talk about. We're also making that effort to become the first American four-minute city. How are we coming along, Caitlin? It's coming. There's a lot <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big effort, right? Good, you know, the technology like, is making it possible. When y'all first started talking about that, I thought, well, how are you going to get all this technology out there? But the technology has been reduced. You can mobile monitor everybody now, and so mm -hmm. you can find out who's where and, and get them assigned to it. So... And so that's a big initiative. So we, we look forward to, to that happening in this yes. year. Yes. We're going to yes. have to pay Care for that team. with a black tie blue exactly. jean. Exactly. Yes. You know, so yeah, have... Care Team signups are still out there. So please contact us about that. But yes, to pay for it, among other things, our biggest event is black tie and blue jeans. So that is going to be next Saturday, August 6th at the Civic Center. That's at right. That's next Saturday already. Yes, yeah, see, we're getting into August, Steve. Man. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot going on. We're going to have a plated dinner. We're going to have um, the Memphis Grizzlies house band G3 will be joining us. So that's fun. Um, we This is our first year at the Civic Center because we, we're expanding and growing. So that's awesome. Um, we're going to have live and silent auctions, a liquor pool. So we've got a lot going on Um all to raise money to support like you said the four minute city other things friends of heart does with aed placements we're about to start some offering youth screenings to student athletes so we've got a lot going on and we need to be able to support it so why not have a good time to raise that money that's Might right. as well yeah how do we get tickets caitlin yes yeah, so you can go on eventbrite and that's where i have individual tickets and i do have some tables of eight on there for 1500 but the individual tickets are a hundred dollars and so you can go on there and purchase those on eventbrite just search for black tie blue jeans uh, do of course want to thank our sponsors our presenting sponsor is west tennessee Healthcare, and we've also got leaders credit union master medical equipment boya Party Mart, Blacksmith, and Robert's Jewelers. So we've got oh, wow. a lot of businesses involved. We've got more tables than we've ever had. So it's going to be a big night, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's going Saturday, August the 6th, starts at 6. It goes to whenever, right? It, yeah, it goes till I guess I go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I bet I'll be ready, because I bet I'll be tired. But it'll be this working. is the first time for this event in a while, right? Uh, they did have it last year in last May. Year. Um, okay. but it oh, was right. the fairgrounds. So um it, yeah. in 2020, of course, it did not get to yeah, happen at all. Yeah. So right. yeah, it's a it's a big deal to get to have one this size this year. The idea of the whole thing is you dress up formally, you know, the black tie, but then you have you wear blue jeans, be comfortable, you know. Exactly. And then that's you know, people ask, and I'm like, look, we want our guests happy yeah. and comfortable. So whatever you want to wear is fine. Yeah. You know, you know how girls are like a cute shirt and jeans. So I actually get yeah. to say that for once, and like Cassandra <laughs> gets that, but the guys are a little more complicated about what to wear. That's all right. all right. Don't worry about it. Pay the money. Come on. Right? That's right. Exactly. exactly. And, and wear jeans. Do wear jeans. If you want to be casual, you want to keep a tuxedo top to bottom, you're perfectly welcome. You exactly. Put a top hat and a cane you. with it. Come on in, right? That's exactly right. Exactly. If you want to show up in top hat and cane, you go right ahead. Well, yeah, Caitlin, I mean, if Dan Brooks a, is there. Yeah. 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 He will. He's I sure. know it. <laughs> so, Caitlin, uh, for folks who may not have heard, tell us what Friends of Heart is. So we are a fund of the foundation. We focus on all things local, cardiac related, trying to uh, work on different initiatives to support our 
hospital and um, education and things like that. But we also have, as we mentioned earlier, the four minute city. And then we also have um, in, in, an initiative to just place AEDs in areas that need them. We've partnered with uh, rural fire departments, with churches, with youth camps, anywhere where um, you would like to have one of those on site, we can help make that happen. Okay. How many counties are you working to serve? Okay. Pretty much any county that West Tennessee Healthcare serves, we can serve. So, okay. I mean, we can go up to, to 18 counties. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's still it's still relatively young. And, of course, COVID years either don't count or lasted 17, however you want to look at it. Right. Uh, so we've got some some things to, to keep growing, some, some areas to continue to develop. But it's really exciting to be able to come in and, and get that going. It certainly is. Well, we look forward to the four-minute city. So you're going to start screening athletes as well. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start doing um, EKG screenings. We're going to provide those as an option uh, to go That's along with their physicals. Well, um, there's about six or eight tech. conditions that only a, an EKG will pick well, up. Okay, wow. Important work. Caitlin, appreciate yeah. it very much. Thank you. Yes, thanks so much. Black tie, blue jeans. Eventbrite. Get your tickets at eventbrite.com. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's get it to take care of Saturday night, August 6th, and that's Saturday week. That's what right. it is. Remind Man. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin, good to see you. Bye. Thanks, Caitlin. We're going to be right back. We're going to That's be right. talking to Katie McGill coming up next as we continue Six in the Six City. In the city. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Biomedical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, and any way you can imagine. Heating and air conditioning costs are over 50% of our average utility bills. Heating water, another 20%. 70% of our costs are basically for comfort. Utility costs are going up, and those inflation-driven costs may be with us for months. Whatever methods you use to conserve energy, those count more now than ever before. So when you set thermostats or use energy in any way, remember to take steps to conserve. Saving your dollars at JEA Today. Say it and see it with voice control. Find your favorites faster across live, recorded, and streaming TV. Movies, shows, news, sports, music are just a voice command away. Show me action movies. Just for kids. Every result personalized based on viewing habits and time of day. Say it, watch it, it's that easy with the power of voice control. Katie McGill is with us. How are you doing, Katie? So good to see you. It is good to see you, Katie. I'm doing well. It's always good to see you guys. How are always you? Good to see you. We're good. We're good. You know, anytime that child is singing anywhere, you need to go hear her. I uh, know, right? You know, but today to she's not going to be singing. She's actually not going to be singing today. Even, even if it's in the church house, you can go. You know, and, right. and she does wonderful work. Yes. What are we talking about today, Katie? Yeah, what's going on, Katie? So we're talking about the Positive Living Group today. The Positive Living Group is a mental behavioral health clinic here in Jackson, and I'm the marketing relations coordinator for that clinic. And we are hosting a grief therapy workshop with leading author um, in grief, trauma, and loss, Dr. Robert A. Nemeyer. He's the president of the Portland Institute on Grief and Loss um, there in Oregon. And we're extremely happy that he's going to come and share his knowledge about um, grief therapy with anyone in the hub city and beyond that would like to come attend this conference. Now, what's, is there uh, a cost? It's Do we need to make reservations? Yes. So the workshop will be November 17th and 18th. So it's a two day workshop. It will be from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. both days. So we're packing in a lot of information for people. And it is uh, 150 for a one day pass and 250 for a two day pass. Okay. You will also receive 14 continuing education units for attending this conference. Um, and then you will also have two out of three credits toward a certification in grief therapy where you can tack that on to the end of your name and your professional resume. Now, is so this, this a, is designed is for it, professionals, Katie? Yeah. It's for anybody, honestly. I'm glad that you asked. So of course we are reaching out to local counseling and therapy centers as well as social workers, um, pastors, people who work in funeral services, 
uh, first responders, government officials, but it's really for anybody. And there couldn't be a more perfect time for us to host this because everybody has experienced grief, especially with COVID. Um, and a lot of people are experiencing grief that they've never experienced before because not only are we grieving loved ones that we've lost, we're grieving time as well. A lot of people lost those big major events in their life, whether it be a wedding, a graduation, a prom, or, you know, and that that's grief, you know, it's mm -hmm. you feel like you've missed out on that stuff. So really this is for anybody who would like to um, take that step toward being certified in grief therapy so that we can all be a better community when it comes to grief and loss. And then, and then again, like you said, it's any kind of grief. It's not just, you know, when people, you first think of grief, people think, oh, it's a, you're struggling with the loss of a loved one. Well, it, not necessarily could be anything you know you're grieving you know maybe your your pet has passed away or maybe you're you, like you said you've lost some time you've lost some right. events you I always say grief is loss so it can be the loss of anything um like you said a, a loved one a pet um time a job a career path uh you know it could be the loss of anything so so can, can you tell us about, about speaker yeah yeah, yeah. What, what, what's different about him? Why, why did you want him to be here? Well, what's different about Dr. Robert Nemeyer is that he is just so full of knowledge about this particular subject. I mean, he is the leading author in grief and loss. Um, so his expertise is almost unmatched when it comes to this topic. And we're so excited to have him here in the Hub City to educate people. Like I said, here and from beyond, I know people will fly in for this workshop. Um, I know that it will be well attended and we want as many people in the hub city to attend as possible so we can all be prepared to help one another through grief and loss. Well, Katie, tell us about the Positive Living Group. So the Positive Living Group is a mental behavioral health clinic right here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're located at 39 Murray Guard Drive. We have 21 counselors and therapists at our location. Um, we see people as young as three years old to senior adults. Okay. We are conveniently um, open seven days a week. Monday through Fridays, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday are by appointment only, but we do offer appointments those days. And we also accept most major insurance. So not only are we convenient, um, but we're affordable as well. Oh, wow. Before you we get away, Katie, once, once again, this is November the 17th and 18th. 18th. Two days of seminars. Yes, yes. November 17th, 18th. It's at the Carl Grant Event Center at Union. Mm -hmm. Union University School of Social Work is partnering with us on this event. And uh, real fast, Steve, all of the proceeds for this event will go to provide a safety net for the Positive Living Group to help uninsured individuals or people with high deductibles or co-pays okay. be able to seek mental and behavioral health services. And how do you and register? Yeah, we can get tickets how? Eventbrite.com. I sent the link to Miss Janet, and she should okay. be posting it on the Six in the City page as well. Okay. All awesome. Right, excellent. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Katie. Katie Joe, good to see you. Thank you guys for having me. All right. All right. Thanks. We're going to take a break. We're going back to the main stage, and we welcome once again, Cooper the Band. <laughs> they said I was too young, it was not enough. They said I could not win, it would end our love. Still talking at me, but not looking in my eyes. They fill my heart with empty lies. Did someone near kiss my cheek? He said, never lose your own heart. Sometimes you just have to learn to survive With just a spark of hope to ignite your good life
clouds we're even tame the mountains tremble beneath our feet there were no more giants It stands out in the landscape. It's the newest and largest water tank in the JEA system. Located northeast of McKellar Sipes Airport, it holds two and a half million gallons of water. Construction costs just shy of $4 million, but it will supply water and the water pressure necessary to sustain fire hydrants in an expanding industrial and commercial area of Jackson. Meeting needs and building for the future, all a part of JEA today. They say home. Join us to celebrate Jackson and Madison County's 200th year anniversary. To view bicentennial events, visit jacksonmadison200.com. From time to time, life may throw us a curveball. Even with the best of efforts, maintaining the essentials like utilities can be difficult. With Utilicare, you can make a donation to help provide utility assistance to families right here in Jackson. Your contribution makes a difference for those families struggling to pay utility bills. Go online to learn more or donate. JaxEnergy.com forward slash Utilicare. Well, we call her Miss Excitement. Lizzie Emmons is with us. That's right. The executive director of the Jackson Arts Council running 90 to nothing. Always Tennessee. something going on at the Jackson Arts Council when you First see thing it. she's trying to do is raise money. So how's the, how's the campaign coming along? I am. So we are kicking off our annual campaign. We call it Nourish to Flourish every year because we've got to nourish the arts for them to flourish in our community. So we just started this last Thursday. If you want to see more arts in Jackson, if you love the arts, you want to support the arts, um, the Jackson Arts Council is the only organization in Madison County that's here to serve all of the arts. We are the umbrella organization uh, of the arts. So if you would like to support our Nourish to Flourish campaign and help us get more arts in this area, we would absolutely love to have you. And we'll send you a little art supporter decal that's weatherproof. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so how, how do we you, go how about do you make that contribution? Yeah. How do we go about so donating? You can give on a 731arts.com. Right there on the front page is give in the little corner. There's a donate button. Uh, you can give over PayPal. You can give over Venmo. Uh, if you go to our website, you can also find our mailing address if you prefer to give over a check. So, any way that you want to give, um, 
you know, we, we can't do this without uh, the support of our community. We can't grow the arts here in Jackson without uh, support of our community. So uh, we really appreciate our community um, coming behind us and, and supporting us and nourishing the arts. Awesome. 731arts.com and make yes. that donation. So, and you said you guys have got some grants you want to you do. So, so every year, the main, um, we, we do a lot of different things and you can find a, all that information on our website, but the main reason that we are here is to uh, get and give funding to the arts. Um, so this year we have received over 150,000 of grant funding, which is five times more than we have ever received. Oh, wow. um, and we are about to push that out. All of our applications are closed. We have three open grant opportunities. Um, ABC grants, so Arts Build Communities grants, Jackson Arts Council grants, and National Endowment for the Arts grants. We had them all open. We had so many applicants. Oh, wow. uh, so, so many. There's such a need for uh, more support of the arts in our community. Um, but those, those have all been awarded. We're about to send out a press release of exactly who those are. But um, again, we've received over 150,000. So we're about to give that out to oh, our wow. community and see what a massive impact uh, that's going to make. So uh, to put it in perspective of, of how much of a difference that that amount is going to make in our community, usually we reach in between 30 and 40,000 people a year with the grant funding we push out. Right. This year, with that much grant funding, we're about to reach over 140,000 people. Wow. That's, That's exciting. Great. Yes. That's so really exciting. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't seem like a lot of money, but um, it reaches a lot of people. It's going to make a massive impact. One thing now, I want to get to before you get away, and that is you got a new project, the Art yeah. Box. So tell us what this is. And this is something yeah. you're just going to share it with us, right? I mean, this is something totally new. Do. Has it been yeah. released to the Brand public? New. So it hasn't. Yeah, this, this, so this is the first. You're you're the first ones. You're so special. I'm going to give you. We're a, excited. A little, yeah, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Um, the Jackson Arts Council is starting the Jackson Art Box program. Oh, fun! So this box is going to be full of art supplies um, and they're going to go out to our uh, public school system so we have a lot of different groups involved in this um, be on the lookout for a, a big press release of exactly what this is and how to get involved but um, the new Jackson Art Box program is is going to provide art supplies to students in our public school system so oh, wow that's wow. your sneak peek and we're that's, really excited about it. That's exciting too. There's a lot of stuff going on there at the Arts sure. Council. So before we get away, you also want people to participate in your economic impact survey, right? Yes, I do. If you go to an arts event, arts and cultural event uh, throughout the next year and you're handed one of these, please, please, please scan this QR code right here. Okay. It will only take you three minutes maximum. This is information that is completely anonymous. Um, once you fill out the survey and, the <laughs> survey and this data is incredibly important um, for us to gather to know exactly how much money that the city of Jackson spends on the arts. Last time we did this, we figured out it's $4.7 million a year. Oh, so wow. we're, we're trying to gather that information again um, to see how much money Jackson spends on the arts. And I'm sure it's going to be even more now. Um, now, is that, can you only get to the survey through the card or can you get it through your website? Only, yep, only, the, only card. the card when you get okay. handed the card and okay. please fill it out when you're at the event. At the and event. Okay. I can't yeah. tell you how important it is to gather this information. To confirm so, the economic impact of the arts right. in the city. Yes, right. okay. please take a minute and fill that out if you're handed one. We really Sometimes agree. we say what Jackson's spending, people think the city's spending that. Now we're spending the money. You, yes, yeah, audience yeah. members. Yeah. Yes. It's good to see Thanks you. Thanks so much, Lizzie. Good to have you. 731 arts.com. That's right. It's exciting to hear all the things that are going on with the Arts Council. So We're going to be right back with more as we continue Six in the Six City. In the city. Have you heard about Four Minute City? Do you know what it is? Our city has over 100 sudden cardiac arrests every year. That's why the Four Minute City program was created. By placing easy to use defibrillators in homes and businesses throughout Jackson, we can save lives. This is not some hypothetical. This is real. But it's up to us. Want to do something good? Come on, Jackson, get involved. You just might save my life. And I might save yours. 
For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. She's a beauty, isn't she? My parents said they would buy me a car for college. This is perfect. Well, this one isn't for sale, but I can tell you how to win it. It's time for the fourth annual Lifeline Car Giveaway. And Joe Mahan Ford is proud to donate a car again this year. Get flood with Lifeline between Memorial Day and Labor Day for a chance to win a 2019 Ford EcoSport. Join Lifeline. And Joe Mahan Ford and give blood this summer. It's easy. And you can save a life. Before we get away today, I wanted to mention the loss of Dr. LZ Danley. For four years, he was superintendent of education in our school system and was an important part of some transitions in, in this community. He passed away this week. His visitation is going to be at the South Chapel with George A. Smith and Sons. That'll be Wednesday evening, the 27th, from 5 till 7. And the funeral will be Thursday at the Melissa's Baptist Church. We wish his family the best. Yes, most definitely. And you got a bunch of things coming up. Well, I do. Um, the 29th is Crown Wineries Wine Down. They're going to be with the missing fifth. Starts at seven o'clock. Reservations are required. The 30th, Century Farm Wineries having Voices in the Vineyard with um, Kelso Mojo. Starts at seven. Okay, well, July 31st is none other than 731 Day and Porch Fest. Okay. So much going on that, that day. So many bands. So you need to go to our Jackson home. Uh, dot com slash 731 day for the lineup and there's participating businesses where you can get some discounts and then the jackson animal care center our, our friends there are in uh, at a critical need their shelter is full of dogs oh, wow. okay. they've got dogs puppies um, medium dogs large dogs so if you're looking for um, a, a best friend then okay. get out there to the animal oh, wow. care center because they've got a special going right now the adoption fee is only 40 dollars. so please help them out Thanks to everybody for being with us. Good Lord Will, we'll see you next week. That's and right. we're going to close out with Cooper the Cooper Band. Cooper the Band. Drive, feet on the dashboard. I can't take it anymore. Die, try to feel something. Scream. I don't hear anything. I watch the hours go by. I heard this town was supposed to be quiet. Halfway there. Whoa, oh, we are not scared. Selena, this town is alive in the 